we've been talking to you for a while have you been listening written lots of books have you been reading endless processes about what to do when you've got resistance in your mix today we'd like to talk about something that will be easier for you rather than wait until you fall in a hole and then try to dig yourself out of it <laughs> which is doable and you actually like that approach because people make monuments for you <laughs> oh, look at the hole this one dug themselves out of No one thought that they would make it, but they did. <laughs> Their life sucked for 10 years, but they made it out of that big old hole. What we would like to encourage is that instead of waiting until you fall in a hole and you really feel strong negative emotion, that you get out ahead of it. That when you wake up, before you've focused upon the things that introduce resistance into your experience, you let a little bit of momentum get going so that you hook up with who you really are so that as the resistance shows itself to you and it will because that's this human environment in which you're living because you already have some momentum going you have a step five moment instead of a step one moment do you know the difference step one is contrast of your life causes you to ask Step two is when you ask it is given meaning that your inner being and all of us that hang around there focus upon what you've asked for and we don't just focus upon it we don't just think about it we become it so much that our point of attraction gathers all of the cooperative components for what you've asked for so things get all lined up for you you just have to get in a little step three moment of not being in the way or not blocking what you've asked for and parts of it start coming into your experience step four just means you're so practiced at step three that we call you really good at step three that's what step four is we know it's weird but you can have a step three moment and not really be a step three person you can accidentally stumble into step three but when you are doing step four that means you care about it you care about how you feel you focus upon what you think about you think more deliberately and then step five is you're so good at staying in alignment so good at getting out ahead of it that as life comes to you as you want it to you don't feel negative emotion instead you feel opportunity you don't feel like you have some challenge you feel the opportunity that it is because you were born you came deliberately into this environment because you are a creator and you want to gather the data and you want to come to your own conclusions because what you want matters because you are a unique creator and you get to create your own reality and you didn't come to regurgitate someone else's idea of what you should do most humans rather than listening for their vortex version which is out ahead of them which is calling them all the time instead of being under the influence of your own inner being who adores you and who is calling you and who gives you moment to moment feedback about whether you're coming toward or moving away from whether you're closing the gap or widening the gap whether you're allowing or resistant instead of feeling for that most of you you were sort of trained by those who got here before you and forgot about it forgot about their own alignment most of you care what other people think and so most of you use the opinions of others as your guidance what do you think about this what do you think about this what do you think about this and while we want you to know that we love each and every one of them did we tell you that we love each and every one of them <laughs> they don't make good did we tell you that we love each and every one of them <laughs> it's not a good idea to try to please them because first of all they're all different and next of all none of them knows who you really are and most important and we really want you to hear this they don't get you 
at all no matter how much you want them to they don't get you there's not a person on this planet who really gets you and that explains your utter disappointment in humanity <laughs> because you keep wanting there to be someone who really understands you it's why you talk so much about everything I really really want you to know where I've come from where I've been and why I feel like I feel and they're just going uh-huh 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 not one of them gets you and if they do it doesn't help you because as you're trying to explain to them where you came from you're not standing where you are and you're certainly not moving toward what life has caused you to become so that was just our sales job to help you to realize that you have guidance within you who is always aware of you who is calling you toward all that you have become and while humans are lovely don't pay any attention to what any of them think about what you should do because did we tell you that we love them so much <laughs> they are all in it for themselves and that's such a good thing because everyone has this selfish orientation because you can only see through the eyes of self so it sometimes hurts your feelings when you realize that as they are guiding you they are really putting you in the best position to help them <laughs> and then you think they don't really love me they want this for them and we say don't fight it it's the way you are eternally wired in other words you only have perspective of self now that does not mean that a person cannot get tuned in tapped in turned on and look from broader perspective when you are under the influence of source then you want well-being for all in other words when you blend with that source energy you do care and we're not saying that there are not people that care of course there are there are a lot of people that care but just don't replace any one of them as your guidance system because they will let you down every single time they'll go along they'll be perfect 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 and then they'll croak <laughs> the nerve the nerve of that or they'll look over somewhere else for a minute they won't hold you as their steady object of attention can you believe that <laughs> they'll live their own life they'll want their own things they might even have other friends really <laughs> really but your own guidance comes from your source energy it's the expanded version of you and it's tried and true and always focused upon you and always available for you it's like that light is always there that signal is always there Esther arrived back in San Diego and first thing she does is turn on her computer to see if she can get a Wi-Fi signal well that Wi-Fi signal is always on with your inner being that modem never shuts down it never loses its connection it's always broadcasting to you 100% of the time spectrum no <laughs> time corner no 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 not one of them is stable you go away for a month and stuff happens to that modem rats chew the wires they upgrade their equipment without thinking about you not so with your inner being always right there always aware of where you are and always broadcasting but you got to tune in you got to tune in so we've enjoyed this immensely go out into the world and have fun <laughs> we're eager to talk with you about whatever you want to talk about it is our desire to consider with you the specifics of what you are living and to help you know through our conversation to help you know not just our words but enough conversation that you get it how you are introducing resistance because if there's something that you have been wanting for a while and those thoughts have not turned to things for you yet then that means you've got resistance in the mix and most likely you're not aware of the resistance that you got in the mix because there are normal beliefs that you think you should maintain because you've been dragging them around for a while there are a lot of beliefs that support your new becoming but you know you know what doesn't support your becoming 
now what is what's manifested in your experience and your voracious appetite for it your attention to what is with all of its aligning and not aligning factors is what introduces resistance into your mix and keeps things from moving forward for you wouldn't you like to have moment by moment awareness of that so you can guide yourself around the resistance wouldn't you like to declutter your signal so that what you ask for comes to you more easily we know you want that and it, we want it for you too so let's go what do you want to talk about we're gonna have a good conversation here today all the hands that are in the room right now don't even come close to represent it when it's coming because you're gonna get clarity right now it's all about what isn't working out in a little while we'll be all tuned in tapped in turned on and it'll be about how we can get that momentum going right now you know what it is hold your horses for a moment <laughs> right now you want to know about the awesome power of non-resistant thought because yeah. you want to take that power and you want to kill people no you <laughs> you want to point that power at things and make things happen we know you do but after we've chewed together for a little while you'll be looking for the awesome pleasure of non-resistant thought and oh there's such a difference because when you're looking for the pleasure of it feel the difference if you're looking for the power of alignment right away you point that power at something that's wrong and you introduce resistance into the mix mm -mm -mm. But if you're looking for the pleasure of the non-resistant thought now you're aligned in this moment and then in this moment and then in this moment and then in this moment and you string a few aligned moments together and you've got some really good momentum going and you let that momentum get going and thoughts start turning to things and you start noticing start knowing your power through your pleasure